Ango what? Ango A. Where is Ango A? Ango A is there. So this is the angle that they want us to find. So the angle A. So they want us to find the angle A. So what we are going to do is that, have you seen where this angle is pointing? It's pointing down. This is where we've got small letter A. This is C. Have you seen where C is pointing? It's pointing that side. This is where we've got small letter C. So this is small letter C. This is B, angle B. Well, have you seen where B is pointing? This side. This is where we've got small letter B. So this is the first thing you need to do. At the angle you are told is angle A. So you are just going to say that cos A is equal to. Don't forget, we've got a lot of methods that we get to use each time we are answering these questions. So I just want to show you this formula that you can also use. This doesn't disqualify that other formula that you know. No, they are just the same. So what you are going to do, since you want to find the angle A, so you are going to add these two sides that are putting this angle in the middle. So what you are going to do is that you are going to add, we've got B squared, we are going to square them, plus C squared, you square that, then you say minus, minus now the side that has remained, A. So A squared, like this. Then you say over, over what? 2, then you multiply these two, B, C. This is what you need to do, this is what you need to understand. Then you just replace. So the most difficult thing is knowing the rule to use and the particular formula to use. Once you get these two things, then this topic automatically becomes simple. So even as you get to follow me on my social media platforms using the same name, Arison J. Zuru Tutor, I'm going to show you how you get to answer this just in an easy way. The way that you are going to understand. So you say... Cos A is equal to, where is B? B is where? This is B45. So just say 45 squared plus C. C is this one. It is 275 squared minus, where is A? A is here, 300. So this small letter A is just the same as B, C. Capital letter B, C. So B, C is just the same as small letter A. This is what I mean. Just the same as writing this. Have you seen? You are told B, A, C. This is the same as angle A. So these two are just the same. A, C is the same as small letter B. So you say over two times what is your B? Where is our B? Where is our B? I think we are all able to see what is happening here. Where is our B? B is this one, 45 times C is 275. This is what you are going to do. Where you continue and say cos A is equal to, you multiply what is on top. So I want you to follow me properly. 45 squared plus 275 squared minus 300 squared. What answer are we getting? The answer that we are getting is negative 12, 3, 5, 0. This is the answer we are getting. I say over. Over what? So over what is down? What am I having down? 2 times 45 times 275. What answer am I getting? This is the answer I'm getting. 2, 4, 5, Seven zero. This is the answer that I'm finding. Where I'm going to say, I believe you are able to see everything that I'm doing. This is just the same as what? This is just the same as. So I'm going to say, let me write it here. So I'm going to say this is the same as cos A is equal to. So I divide here. Let me divide here. So if I divide, what answer am I getting? Negative one, two, three, five, zero. Divide. 24750. What is my answer? The answer is negative. You are able to see this on your calculator. So the answer is negative 0 0.4998. It is just going. So you are able to see this on your calculator. So this means that A is equal to 
this course will go to the other side. So when course moves to the other side, it carries a negative, a ka inverse. Meaning you are going to have cos inverse of what? Negative 0 0.49898. Where you are going to say now, A is therefore equal to what? A is therefore equal to what? A is therefore equal to what? On your calculator, how do you punch this? How do you punch this? You just say, cos, you want to find the inverse of this. Shift, it depends with the kind of a calculator that you are using. My calculator here, I need to press where, where there is shift. On other calculators, second function. So it's a second function, then you go to cos, the negative has appeared. So after seeing this negative, then you say negative 0 0.49898. I'm just ending there. What answer are we getting? The answer that we are getting is 119.9325. The answer is just going like that. So we can end here. We say degrees. Where you are going to say now that therefore you were taught to find B A C, which is equal to what? Equal to 119.9 degrees as your answer. So this is your answer. One what? 119.9 degrees. This is your answer. Those of you that are rounding off to the nearest uh, O number, you are saying 120 degrees. It is just one and the same thing. So this is what you need to understand. So the angle that is there is 119.9 degrees. That is the angle that is there. So you are done with this. They give you how many marks? Five marks. Can we fail to do this? No, we can't. So you need to make sure that you get these five marks. After getting these five marks, now you get this. These ones are the most simplest of all. So area of triangle ABC. So how do you find the area of that triangle? How do you find the area of that triangle? This is what you are going to do. So the, this is the formula. Whether the question is falling under the sine rule, whether it is falling under the cosine rule, this is a formula you need to use. You say area of a triangle is equal to half AB sine theta. This is the formula. So here some people will say BH, it is just one and the same. Why am I saying that it is just one and the same? Because A and B are the two sides that are putting this angle you are using in the middle. So now, A and B in this case, can we use this angle that is here, which we don't even know? No. Can we use the angle that is there? We don't know. The only angle that we are able to see is this one. So I'm going to use this one and these two sides. So these two sides are A and B. You just choose which one is A and which one is B. Just one and the same thing. So what you are going to do is that you are going to say that area is equal to 1 over 2 times what is your A? 45. Times what is your B? 275. Then you say sign the angle there 119.9 degrees. So you say this is now equal to what is your answer? What answer are you going to get? So what you are going to do 1 over 2, you agree with me that it is just the same as 0 0.5. So I'm going to say 0 0.5 times 45 times 275. Then I say sine 119.9. What answer am I getting? This is the answer that I'm getting. 5, 3, 6, 3. 9, 2, 3, 6. It is just going. So there is a comma. On your calculator, you are able to see a comma. This is where some people get to make a mistake. So you need to be sensitive on this. The, the first one, you need to differentiate a comma and the full stop. So as you can see, the answer, I don't know if you are able to see, the answer that is here is appearing as there is a comma there so this is what you need to do. This one is a comma. So mostly we don't consider commas in mathematics. Mostly. Unless if you are talking about the cost of that. So here now you end here. So you are going to say that 
This one, you know that it is meters squared. So here you now put your answer to three significant figures or to two decimal places n. So this one can also be written as five three six three point nine meters squared. You can end here. There is no problem. You end here. They give you amen max two max. Can you fail to get the two max? No, you can't. These things are very simple as long as. You've got a right person that is helping you in mathematics, chemistry, and physics. But this is what you are supposed to do. And these are things that you need to understand. We move down to the other quad question, which happens to be our last questions. And before I answer this last question, don't forget, every day 05, I'm live on Facebook at the moment. So every day 05, I'm live on Facebook. Don't forget to join me. And if you want tuitions, I do offer tuitions in mathematics, semester, and physics, which I get to conduct every day. Starting from Monday to Friday. Mathematics starts at 20 hours, science 21 hours every day on a daily basis. So I'm going to give you the number, just stay connected. Oh, you may have it written in your book, which is 0971. 066747. You can WhatsApp me on this same number 0971 066747. Let us answer the last question here. This question is the simplest of all because I'll just give you one formula that you need to use. The shortest distance from A to B C. The shortest distance from where? From A to from A to B C. So the shortest distance from uh, A to BC, from A to BC, this is the BC. So always, this one that is given is the base, always. So BC from A to JZ, JZ is the base, from D to JB, JB is the base. So this one that is given is the what? Base, don't forget. This one that is given here, from this to that, where it is going, that is the base. So meaning that, what is the formula for the shortest distance? H is equal to 2A over B. This is the formula for the shortest distance. Where you know that that is the area, this one is the base. I've told you. So you substitute. Shortest distance is equal to 2 times, what is the area? Five three six three point nine over the base B C B C three hundred. You put your three hundred there. So which means that shortest distance is equal to you get your calculator very well. You get that you say times two two times that you get ten point ten seven two seven point eight four seven two seven. You divide that after seeing the answer. After seeing your answer, don't go direct. These are the mistakes that you get to make in an exam. Don't go direct. So after seeing this answer, then you say divide 300. What is your answer? The answer is 35.75 5, 9. So 7, 9 like this. This is what we are given 79 as 75949 like this. So this is just the same as what you can write it as 35.8 like this. You say meters, or someone can just write it 36 meters. It is just one and the same thing. So this is a particular formula that you need to know. This is a particular formula that you need to understand. So we've come to the end of this lesson. I think you've learned one or two things. So those of you that are interested in starting lessons with me, this is my number. Plus 2609710667467. All my online lessons are done on Telegram. I'm teaching using Telegram. Thank you so much. So my online lessons are live where you are even able to ask questions. Don't forget to follow me on all social media platform, platforms just using the name Addison J. Zuru Tutor. Thank you so much.